I think our bridge menu was pretty delicious. Dude, our bridge menu was pressure. Yeah. I mean, you know, to go from chicken zingers and bang bang shrimp and fucking, you know, four different burgers. Anyway, yeah. Um, to, four different burgers, four different chicken sandwiches, four different tacos. Yep. Uh, fish dip out of a can. Yep. And to our, to the menu, the bridge menu that we had was definitely something to be proud of. And then to see, you know, the different iterations from then, you know, and, and the little, like the slow evolution that led to eventually us serving foie gras at this bar. Yeah. You know, serving fucking, uh, like just house made charcuterie and all of these things that, you know, looking back at the beginning seemed like this distant, maybe one day we'll get there. And here we are. I mean, it took four months. Yep. You know, I, what's interesting though is that like even in the bridge menu portion, and this is why I, I thought, um, getting you on board for a situation like this, which was the first time I had done something like this also, which was to take over a property that was existing. We still had a lot of fun with that bridge menu. And I thought like a lot of parts of it were pretty delicious. Yeah. Um, they just weren't our goal. Right. Right. And <clears throat> in the process of coming up with bridge menus and all these kinds of like interesting things, I mean, it was like, it was pretty intense, you know, <laughs> it was, it was pretty intense, but I, th- I thought it went pretty well. And then when we ripped like all the band aid off, you know, and I think that happened actually a week before we closed that we ripped the majority of the band aid off. I mean, probably two. Yeah. Two weeks. Um, and people were like, wow, you know, this place is uh, serving like, you know, nice food. I'm like, oh, we're not done yet. Oh yeah. You know, and then that process, um, I love stories like this because if there's anyone of the 22 people that listen to this, right? <laughs> that Salina, are, Kansas, how you doing? That, <laughs> shout out to Salina, <laughs> Kansas. Yeah. Uh, that are interested in opening a restaurant just so you have like a good, like, glimpse of what happens behind the scenes you know the whole goal was to do a lot of back-end work fix functionality of the operation back-end wise some of the people that we invested into to train them on our standards and so on and so forth and then to close for four days finish all the cosmetic work and then to reopen four days later super ambitious but in that process of closing for four days you lose your walk-in mm-hmm Right, (laughs) where the walk-in that houses not only all of your food, but then all of your beer, and um, you essentially have to then knock on the door of other teammates from abroad, which are Ariette, Nave, so on and so forth, say, hey, I need to borrow some space, (laughs) by the way. I know you guys are really busy. You guys just won that little star thing. It's whatever. It's pretty busy. It's cool. I just need to take like a quarter of your whole walk in. How do you feel? And them being, them saying like, sure. Sure. You know, like, though, I think those moments, as difficult and as, as fucked as they were, I mean, it shows a lot of like the kind of the culture of the entire company and like people just want to see other people succeed, you know? Couldn't agree more. I feel like that. So that's like a, a concrete example where, I mean, granted, like, what are they going to say? No. You know, like we have to put our product somewhere. Right. However, the 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 response and the support and the willingness to do whatever it takes because even though we're different properties and we're you know, we're different restaurants, like it's one team. Mm-hmm. And like the culture that you've built and that, 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 that this company has built through the team that you've assembled and everything else is is really like that. It's, it's always evident. Like if you spend any time working for even, I feel like even if you, if you're, especially if you're an industry person and you dine at one of our, our, our places, like it's, you have no choice but to be aware of it. Like mm-hmm. it's, it's evident in the service you get and the food you eat, but then to be like on the inside and to be working for the company and have that experience, like to just have like an outpouring of support from people that have nothing to do with the restaurant that I run, you know, like it's just, it's incredible. Like it's, it's really overwhelming sometimes because it's uh, it's just this this force, yeah. you know. And like I think that a lot of your success has to do with that. It has to do with the culture that you've created and the willingness to just do whatever it takes in a team aspect, you know. Thank you.